Hi everyone and welcome to Room Rescue here at the HGTV Home Design Studio inside the warehouse at Huck Finn. I'm Kate Corey and today we're going to show you an amazing room transformation along with style tips you can use in your own home. Let's get started. We're going to kick things off today with the beginning of our room rescue and joining me now is our very own personal design consultant, Rachel. Rachel, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. We had a viewer send us a photo of a room. It needs a little help. What is wrong with this room? Well, the room lacks functionality. It's very dull, especially with the white walls. There's no pop of color. And none of the furniture really seems to go together. Yeah, none of it really works. No styles. So you are tasked with rescuing this room. Step one, create a design board. Mm -hmm. What is a design board? Well, design board shows our recommendations of furniture, uh, the fabric choices we selected, artwork. So a lot of thought goes into these. Mm -hmm. You have one here for this room. Yeah. Show me what you've come up with. Uh, well, here are some of the ideas I came up with. We okay. decided to go with a rustic um, inspiration. Nice. Um, we decided to go with a leather. Um, because they do have small children. Leather's super easy to clean. Good to know. Uh, you just wipe it right off. And you built storage into this room. Mm -hmm. Where? Yeah. Um, in our coffee table. We just got some closed storage. Just throw the toys right in. Awesome. And your color scheme, you guys went with blues and yellow? Yeah, a complimentary color scheme will make the room pop. It's just a really easy way to do that. Well, now you have to put this room together for us. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. In the meantime, we're going to jump over to Dan for today's design tip. Today, we're talking about performance fabrics with Dan. Dan, what is a performance fabric? Great question, Kate. Performance fabrics are fabrics that are going to withstand everyday usage, high traffic areas. And you recommend a particular brand. I do. I love these revolution fabrics. Why? Well, for one thing, they're extremely durable, and as you can see, they're soft to the touch. And what are they made of? They're made with olefin. And that means that the dye or the color is going to be all the way through the fabric. And that's going to make them stain resistant for life. And Olefin actually won an equal award. That is correct. They won the Nobel Prize for their positive impact in the environment. That's amazing. Now, they're also stain resistant. Red wine? Red wine, coffee, you name it. You just have to use a spot cleaner with an everyday household solution. You can even use a water and bleach solution to clean these. All right, Dan, I'm very impressed. Now look, if they come in a multitude of colors, and they're made right here in the lots, USA. Lots of selection. Dan, thank you so much for the tip today. Oh, you're welcome. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the big reveal. Rachel's back. Rachel, tell me what you did with this new room. Well, first we started with the sofa and love seat. I decided to choose the leather, as I said before. Okay. Um, this is a reclining set, so it's a power motion. Wow. Uh, you can stop anywhere you'd like. It also has the adjustable headrest, so if you're fully reclined, you have some neck support while you're watching TV. This is a lot more comfortable than our original photo. Yes, it is very cozy. It also does have uh, USB charging ports right on each side of the sofa and the love seat. That's really convenient. Mm -hmm. And we went with the storage and the coffee table, close storage, easy to throw the toys or whatever inside there. Great. And we do have some open storage for books or photographs. I love that. Like that. Lots of space. Mm -hmm. And we tied the, the color in with the rug and the pillows and the accent chair to bring that pop that the room was lacking before. This is beautiful. Thank you. Tell me about this gallery wall. Well, I selected a bunch of photos. They don't really have to have any relation to each other. Okay. Uh, but I went with a similar color scheme with them. And to bring out the blues, I included some blues in the pictures. Uh, I did a variety placement so that they have more interest. But it all works. It all does work. And together. I just want to point out, too, this mirror because the mirror is a, a really beautiful touch. Yeah, it creates more of an open space in the room and ties it all together. It's important not to forget the small details as well. We used a bunch of rustic accents throughout the room to warm it up. All right, Rachel, I am so impressed with the work you've done here today. Thank you so much for rescuing this room. You're welcome, and we love to do it. It's so much fun. If you have a design problem you'd like solved, submit your questions and room photos at HuckfinsWarehouse.com. And remember, everything featured in today's room rescue can be found at the HGTV Home Design Studio at the warehouse at Huck Finn. Their design professionals provide free decorator service to help transform your space. That does it for today's episode of Room Rescue here at the HGTV Home Design Studio inside the warehouse at Huck Finn. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.